Good morning, folks. We've got a couple can't-miss stories today from as deep below our feet as we go to the furthest reaches of space, just how we like it. Starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star, we continue to see the bright active region incoming from the left, but it still lacks sunspots and the X-ray charts show no solar flaring. Right now, the incoming bright point is actually the anchor of a massive plasma filament, and it is riding somewhat low through the corona as opposed to reaching up high. Solar wind up next. We did peak intensity during yesterday's news show, have dropped back down a bit since then with geomagnetism calm as well. Let's take a quick look at GOES-17's view of the atmospheric river aimed at the west coast. Good news is that it shifted slightly southward, but the low offshore Washington and Oregon still managing to steal all the moisture brought up into the mountains. This is why we are seeing such crazy snow totals, months only half over Pendleton. There will be no end to those records falling as long as the lower level moisture line keeps hitting the low, which is also driving the epic cold marks that are dropping records as well. Folks, it was 15 days without a magnitude 6 earthquake when they are expected three times per week. Very happy to report that drought ends out in the middle of nowhere. First science article of the day deals with earthquakes. From a deep one more than two decades ago, they are gleaning new information about the mantle transition zone. It's one of the places we look for blood echoes, and it's demonstrating that its outer shell is smooth, but the underside is jagged, dwarfs the mountain ranges up on the surface pointing up, while also having some more subdued planes as well. Interesting. Now let's jump from seismicity to solar physics, and it's really about overdue for the mathematicians to begin posting solar cycle forecasts for the upcoming cycle 25. Veteran observers know that while we do believe grand solar minimum is coming this century, it has not arrived yet, and this next sunspot cycle has shown no signs of flatlining. It should be about the same as cycle 24, which we are about to exit, continuing the trend down long term towards that grand minimum, but just not putting us there yet. In fact, all the evidence one can use to forecast upcoming activity suggests another cycle very similar to the one we're finishing now. Last but not least, and so very appropriate considering I'll deliver the 2019 Plasma Universe presentation to kick off the conference today, they have completely confirmed that the missing normal matter of the universe is not randomly scattered, but bound in the filaments of the cosmic web, flowing together, feeding down into galaxies as giant currents in space. And since these are either charged subatomic particles or heavily ionized gases, that makes them plasma and plasma current has the magnetic fields and peripheral currents that make it far more meaningful than if it were scattered randomly. It's part of a great circuit, a system. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.